beautiful people. Welcome to Beauty with a Hammer. I'm Carla and this is my husband, Hudson. And today we are so excited because we are going to be sharing with you something very personal and very close to our hearts. We are going to be sharing with you the moment I told my husband that we were going to be having um, a baby. Earlier this year, I actually um, was really, really sick. I thought, uh, the doctors thought I had um, rheumatoid arthritis and so it really freaked me out thank god it was not rheumatoid arthritis i had been ice skating in december of last year had a bad fall ice skating um and what ended up happening was i ended up having really severe whiplash in my neck that was exhibiting some signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis my husband and i have been married for 10 years now we always wanted to have children at 25. Um, when we were both 25, we got married at 20 years old and we were like, okay, by 25, we're gonna have kids. Well, 25 came and, um, you know, we just weren't ready yet. And so, you know, here we are 10 years later and now I have this, you know, di possible diagnosis of having this chronic illness. And so I really started to rethink about my life and where we were at that point. And so um, we prayed about it and we were like, okay, you know, God, um, you know, if I do have this illness, then um, you know, let it be your will. But also, if I once I get healed from this, if this is not what it turns out to be, like we're gonna start having a baby right away. We're gonna try to have a baby right away. So, in March of this year, I had my IUD taken out. I began to go to um, physical therapy to get um, treated for the severe whiplash. Um, and so I was released from physical therapy in June of this year. In July, we decided to try our first time trying to get pregnant. Now, my husband and I, we have never tried to get pregnant before. Um, so we didn't even know if, you know, we were gonna even be able to yeah. conceive if we were gonna have, you know, fertility problems. Um, fertility problems are so common. And so um, we tried in July, we didn't get pregnant, but we tried in August and, um, we got pregnant and so um, the way I found out was um, of course anytime you know if you've tried to get pregnant you're like constantly counting your you know your days your cycle your ovulation like the day you're supposed to start your menstrual cycle all of that and so I was actually at work and I was supposed to start my my, my cycle on October 1st and I was at work and I was like, you know what? I'm like, you know, I, I'm a nurse and so I work in day surgery and so we are supposed to test any women um, in childbearing age, you know, with a pregnancy test. And so I was just like, hey, you know, today I'm supposed to get my period. I was like, just for, you know, just for laughs, I'm gonna do a pregnancy test at work. So, so I ended up peeing on this little test and as I'm looking at the test, I see two lines and I'm like in shock. Like literally I like paused, like, like I probably didn't breathe for a whole minute. I was just like, oh my gosh. I was like, there's two lines. And I just remember like looking at myself in the mirror and like thanking God. I was just like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm like, thank you God. I was like, and then looking at myself and I'm like in the mirror and I'm like, I'm going to be a mom. And so I was just so overjoyed. I was so like happy. And then the next thing that happened, I was like at work, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to tell my husband. Like I want to tell him right now. But I always talked about it with him, like that I was going to tell him in a special way that we were pregnant. And so I was like, okay, I need to like, I need to like hide my, like contain this, like this news, right? I had to keep it a secret. Um, and so like literally like the entire, the rest of the day at work, I just was thinking, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to go and buy like a pregnancy test at the store to make sure like this is for real. And then I'm also, you know, if it is positive for like a second positive test, then I need to like figure out a way I'm going to tell my husband. So I literally went to Walmart, bought this little wooden box that I was going to put this test in. I bought this little onesie. I made a little card. Um, and I put sesame seeds on it and it said our baby is the size of a sesame seed. So I went home, got the, te the second test, I peed on the test, pregnant. So my husband comes home and he has no idea. I'm trying to like <laughs> act super normal um, at this point yeah. and like trying to hide this excitement, like exciting news. And so I go out to the porch. I call him out to the porch. Do you remember when I called you yeah. out? And it was October, the month of our anniversary. And so I said, 
you know, come on out to the porch. I have a gift for you for our anniversary. And so at that point, did you have like any idea? No, because I mean, I was not even like prepared for anything. I was not expecting that kind of news, like especially that day. Yeah. Yeah, I was not. Yeah, he did not have any clue. And so um, what we're going to do, is, so, so what happened next is I said, I have a little gift for you. I want you to open it. And I'm going to show you guys that video of his reaction, um, of him reacting to the news that we are going to be expecting. I hope yeah. you guys enjoy it. Wait, not me. <laughs> you can go back in if you want. A poco que es que tiene la piedrita? I just wanted to make sure it didn't fall. Okay. <laughs> Something special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up. Nah. <laughs> I'm not joking. For real? <laughs> Baby Rock is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember like I was crying by the end of this video um I was just like my husband just seeing him how excited he was I was just yeah. like in tears I was like yes like I'm not joking I can't believe we're pregnant we're gonna be parents and so I think that was like a moment in my mind I will never forget his look um I will never forget like the way that I felt being able to tell him that we we had conceived and we were going to be waiting for for this precious little gift. The fact that like that day that I got the news, I cannot believe it, right? You can see my reaction in the video. It's like, no way, there's no way this is real. But um, after that, I still the same thing, you know, all this time has passed and I know I can't hear it, the heartbeat from there. And I still don't believe it, you know? <laughs> so I think I'm gonna believe it the day that I'm gonna actually hold it in my hands. Hold because so baby. far, yeah. yeah, it's just, I'm still in shock, the fact that I know that there is a, a baby growing in there and, and we're gonna be parents. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was shocked for a long time too. I was just like, I couldn't believe it. And like sometimes I still can't believe it because I don't see my belly like growing too big or I haven't felt the baby move either um, uh, just because of how little the baby is. But um, I think that, like you said, like the more, the more time passes, it just becomes even more yeah. and more real. And it'll definitely become even more real when we find out the gender of our baby. So we're really excited to find out gender. Yes. Um, and so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my husband's reaction and my my story. And um, you know, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep to keep getting more updates on my pregnancy journey. Don't forget to watch out for my next video where I where we both tell my my parents and my family that we are yes. pregnant um, and seeing their reaction and walking you guys through that. Um, su such a great great little video as well. So bye guys.